I would now like to ask Mayor Bill Carpenter to come, come up to the podium and address the city of Brockton and the family. Mayor? Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a distinct honor and privilege to be part of this ceremony here this afternoon. Uh, first, I want to be sure to recognize a VFW Post 1046. A gentlemen, thank you all for your service and thank you for your important role here today uh, in making this presentation of the Purple Heart to the Johnson family possible. Uh, the, the city of Brockton, the sons and daughters of Brockton have a, a proud and rich tradition of uh, serving our military both in times of uh, war and peace. And uh, I think as mentioned in the prayer, it's important that uh, we honor all of those who served. Uh, and in particular today, we're here to 74 years later, uh, honor Seaman uh, John Russell Johnson for making the ultimate sacrifice on December 7th, 1941. I, uh, we're, we're having so f few remaining opportunities to honor uh, those of the greatest generation. Uh, I know that um, my own dad is a living World War II vet. There are very, very few left. I know that the commander will mention uh, some that are here in attendance today. And uh, my uncle, uh, Spud Keneally, can't get much more Irish than that. Uh, my uncle Spud Keneally uh, worked at Pearl Harbor as a Navy diver on the reclamation and salvage operations after the bombing of Pearl Harbor and actually worked in the salvage and reclamation efforts of the USS Arizona. So I certainly feel a very personal connection uh, to, to John Russell Johnson and grew up seeing pictures of what the aftermath of that attack looked like. So at this time, I would like to uh, invite back up to the podium uh, the post commander here of uh, Brockton's VFW Post 1046, Mr. Jim Darty. As commander of Post 1046, I'm very proud, as are all of our members, of the hard work that Laura Daly and Kinsey Lonigan did to find this lost treasure and to locate the remaining family of John Russell Johnson. This is a memorable, memorable day not only for the history of the United States, but, but also for post-1046. To be able to locate and return these honors to the family of John Johnson has been a journey that we will cherish and remember forever. 74 years ago today, Seaman Johnson lost his life on the USS Arizona at Pearl Harbor. The Imperial Empire of Japan attacked our forces in Pearl Harbor. And as FDR said, a day that will live in infamy. Today, we're here to honor the first Brockton resident to lose his life at Pearl Harbor, and to also honor all the servicemen and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Today is a reverent day in American history, a day when America became involved in World War II and came together as a nation to defeat a common enemy. The sacrifice that our men and women made can never be repaid. Today, we are able to at least give back to the family of Seaman Johnson a small tribute of his sacrifice and devotion to his country that he served so proudly. I am proud as post commander to be able to return these awards to the family of John Russell Johnson. At this time, I would like to ask family members to come to the podium so we can present these awards. I would also like to ask Kinsey Lonigan uh, and World War II vets, Frank Peg Luca and Larry Snow to come up also. First of all, I'd like to thank Laura and Kinsey for making all this possible. I know it took a lot of work. Johnson's not a very uncommon name. I mean, we're only one or two of us around, but <laughs> I understand why it took so long to do this and a lot of hard work. And it's just typical of the things that happens with true Americans. 
And just as back in 1941, when we lost my uncle and all the others at Pearl Harbor, eight months later, this country had become so resilient that it was able to go on the attack on August 7, 1942 at Water Canal. No other country could have done that because we had a devastating loss at Pearl Harbor. And I thank you once again for recognizing my uncle and awarding him this Purple Heart. Thank you.